हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students so such friends i'll highly suggest you to watch our video as they will be very beneficial for you in the long term hello everyone how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 10th of february the session will be very important so do pay attention till the end also friends yesterday i gave you some homework question here are the correct option garvita has given all the correct answers so you can match your answers of homework question from here let's move on first question is recently recently ministry of defense has signed a contract with which company to procure 41 modular bridges i repeat recently which uh company has signed a deal with ministry of defense to procure 41 modular bridges first of all mod is your ministry of defense right they have signed a deal with lnt that is your larsen and tubro to procure 41 modular bridges and these 41 modular bridges will be costing around 2585 crore all right so you can see here that ministry of defense signed a contract with lnt for the procurement of 41 indigenous indigenous means that are built in india modular bridges with over 2585 crore rupees of worth all right highly important and these defense bridges has been procured for whom for which force they have been procured for indian army All right the bridges will be procured at an estimate cost of 2585 crore rupees the modular bridges were designed and developed by DRDO who developed them these were developed by DRDO all right and will be procured by LNT and a DRDO nominated production agency this will boost the indigenization of defense equipments in line with atmanirbhar bharat mission so remember 41 bridges were, uh, modular bridges were procured by whom by ministry of defense from whom from lnt who built them drdo built them for whom they were procured for indian army they were procured for what amount they were procured 2585 rupees were used to procure these next next is what is india's expected gdp for fiscal year 24 that is fy24 and this stands for 2023 to 2024 according to rbi's bi monthly monetary policy so according to this rbi's bi monthly monetary policy what is india's expected gdp growth rate for fiscal year 24 india is expected to grow at 6.4% all 
all right for the fiscal year 24 and remember this is lower than 7 percent that was in fiscal year 23 all right this is very important and i want you all to remember this then if you come to the important points rbi release first of all you need to remember who releases this monetary policy committee it is uh, or this report that is monetary policy statement 2022 2023 resolution of the mpc remember it is rbi who releases this policy all right this report and in this report it stated that india will be growing at a gdp growth rate of 6.4 percent for the fiscal year 24 the stance is to be focus on withdrawal of accommodation and cpi inflation or retail inflation is projected at 5.3 percent for fiscal year 24 also there was an other data released by rbi which stated that in their policy or the aim of rbi is to reduce inflation to four percent by the year 2024 apart from this remember the basic norm for inflation is between two to six percent and here rbi is planning to reduce the inflation till four percent by the year 2024 Apart from this, RBI proposed to permit all inbound travelers to India to use UPI for their merchant payment while they are in India. RBI will launch a pilot project that is QR code based coin vending machine in 12 cities. Apart from this, if we talk about RBI, RBI was established when it was established on 1st of April in 1935. All right. And the central office of Reserve Bank was initially established in calcutta that means rbi was first established in calcutta but then later on in 1937 it was moved to mumbai all right highly important next next is which of the organization is offering credit card on upi i repeat this is rupee credit card which of the following organization is offering rupee credit card on upi which is the organization it will be your mobivic all right mobivic that is a payment app of one mobivic systems limited it became the first fintech app in india to support rupee credit cards on the upi if we talk about upi upi was launched by npci in 2016 that is your national payment corporation of india and here upi is being used in more than uh here upi is it upi was not launched in 2016 remember it is npci that was launched in 2016 all right and upi now is used in more than 10 plus countries all right and remember which is the company that is offering the rupee credit cards on upi and it is the first fintech app in india to support the rupee credit card it is your mobi vic the objective here is to make financial services accessible to all the indians and lead the way to financial inclusion also here if we talk about the limit of fund transfer using upi for normal upi transaction the limit is up to 1 lakh rupees for upi for normal transaction it is up to 1 lakh rupees for few specific categories such as upi like capital market collection insurance all right here the limit is up to 2 lakh rupees for ipo that is for initial public officer and retail direct scheme the limit is up to 5 lakh rupees all right for ipos what is the limit of upi it is 5 lakh rupees all right then if we talk about mobivic mobivic when was this established it was in 2019 that this was established where is the headquarter the headquarter is in gurugram haryana and who is the co-founder and managing director and chief executive officer bipin preet singh and remember gurugram is also the headquarter of international solar alliance here you can see that the feature will enable acceptance of credit card using asset light QR codes without the need of point of scale terminals and the transaction limit for the feature will follow the existing UPI standard limit transaction limits. Next, which of the small finance bank has launched an application for micro banking ruler customers? Highly important. 
सो इट विल बी योर विच बैंक विच स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक हैज लॉन्च एन एप्लीकेशन फॉर माइक्रो बैंकिंग रूरल कस्टमर्स इट विल बी योर विच बैंक इट विल बी योर उज्जीवन स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक और राइट दे हैव लॉन्च अ मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन फीचरिंग थ्री वी एस हेयर दे विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट थ्री वीज एंड दीज आर वॉइस विजुअल एंड वर्नाकुलर और राइट दीज फीचर्स विल बी प्रोवाइडेड अंडर दिस बैंकिंग एप्लीकेशन दैट हैज बिन लॉन्च फॉर डिजिटली चैलेंज पीपल हेयर यू कैन सी इफ वी टॉक अबाउट दिस एप्लीकेशन and what is the name of the application that has been launched hello ujjivan so here in this question question can also be asked is what is the name of the application that has been launched by ujjivan small finance bank the name of the application is hello ujjivan all right it is a mobile banking application that is working on three ways voice visual and vernacular and this will provide banking access to people with limited reading and writing skills so that we can say this will be helping the disabled people so if we talk about this hello application hello ujivan application hello ujivan app is designed to instill banking habits in micro banking and rural customers who are digitally challenged the app is accessible by voice in eight regional languages हिंदी मराठी बंगाली तमिल गुजराती कन्नड ओरिया एंड असमीज द एप इंजन कैन ऑल्सो अडेप्ट टू वेरियस डायलैक्ट्स एंड वी नो इन इंडिया देर आर मल्टीपल डायलैक्ट सो दिस एप्लीकेशन कैन ऑल्सो अडेप्ट टू दोज डायलैक्ट्स हेयर यूजर कैन यूज वॉइस कमांड्स टू कंडक्ट बैंकिंग ट्रांजेक्शन एंड हैव एक्सेस टू सर्विसेज सच एज लोन इक्विटी मंथली इंस्टॉलमेंट दैट इज लोन ई एम आई ओपनिंग एफ डीज रिकरिंग एफ डी अकाउंट ट्रांसफरिंग फंड एंड other various options will also be provided here this app is working on artificial and machine learning capabilities and at each step the app displays a visual representation as well as a recorded voice guide in the user's preferred language all right highly important friends and if we talk about ujjivan small finance bank tell me who is the managing director and chief executive officer here itira davis if we talk when about when this was established in 2016-17 and bangalore karnataka is the headquarter for this ujjivan small finance bank so remember ujjivan small finance bank has launched an application that is hello ujjivan this is hello ujjivan is basically an application for the people who are limited uh, who, who are with disabled who are who are with limited reading and writing skills and this application will be helping them it is based on three v's visual voice and vernacular and this application hello ujjivan can be asked will be accessible in how many regional languages it will be accessible in the eight regional languages next insurance small portal it was launched by whom tell me it was launched for their customer to ensure easy buy experience in an effort to provide quality services and simplify the all the services and face during the policy purchase all right that means the customers that face all the policies during the purchase of those policy to simplify them this insurance small portal was launched and it is a portal that means we can say it is a website so remember it is your bajaj finance limited that has launched a new portal that is named as insurance mall for their customers to ensure an easy buy experience so that it becomes easy for the consumers that and to prove for the consumers to buy the policy that they are looking for in the website or in the application because not all the people are technically equipped to handle the websites then remember this insurance mall portal offers a wide range of insurance plans and policies in addition to bajaj finance exclusive pocket insurance subscription category all right so remember it is bajaj finance that has launched this insurance mall and this will help the customers to buy their policy next if we talk about here only if we talk about bajaj finance tell me when was this bajaj finance founded it was in 1987 that bajaj auto finance limited incorporated and bajaj finance was founded in 2012 all 
all right then if we talk about who is the managing director here he will be rajiv jain and where is the headquarter the headquarter is in pune maharashtra all right insurance mall has over 250 policies and plans designed to meet the needs of every customer and these products are constantly updated to guarantee that they remain relevant so it was bajaj finance that has launched this insurance mall next eib agrees to join ih2a this ih this is your hydrogen all right this is your india hydrogen alliance that means eib that is your european investment bank has agreed to join the indian hydrogen agreement or uh, indian hydrogen alliance and enhance the support for the large scale green hydrogen hubs and projects across india also remember eib that is your european investment bank will be investing 1 billion euro to the all the projects of hydrogen that will be developed in india here eib this is a lending arm of the european bank that is the world's largest international public sector bank and a lending financier for renewable energy and climate action also the new memorandum of understanding with ih2a that is your indian hydrogen alliance would allow the european investment bank to promote clean energy investment and green hydrogen development in india all right so coming back question can be asked that recently which bank has signed or which bank has signed a indian hydrogen alliance and will be providing 1 billion euros for the same it will be your european investment bank and they will be providing 1 billion dollar for uh, 1 million euro for investing in the ecosystem of hydrogen green hydrogen in india as we know hydrogen is the fuel of future and we want to shift from non renewable sources of energy to renewable source of energy that is the reason this shift is important and hydrogen will be playing a very important role in future apart from this remember global gateway initiative this global gateway initiative will promote project that increases the global and regional connectivity in digital and climate transport health energy education sectors so remember this also global gateway initiative and who has launched this global gateway initiative it was launched by eu european union next if we are talking about this indian hydrogen association and their work that they are working towards the hydrogen basically we can say that this will help india achieve the target of net zero carbon footprint that they are planning to become carbon neutral by 2070 and also this will help in energy transition by implementing a national green hydrogen road map so coming back if we talk about european investment bank who is the president werner hoiger and when was it founded 1958 and where is the headquarter luxembourg next iisc bangalore with which organization has joined hands for research and development in the electrostatic discharge protection i repeat iisc bangalore along with which organization has joined hand for the research and development in the electrostatic discharge protection it will be your samsung semiconductor india research or we can say the name of the company will be samsung iisc bangalore signed an mou or they have signed or they will be joining hands or they will be working together with samsung company under their arm that is samsung semiconductor indian research this is a subsidiary of samsung only and they will be working for the research and development in the field of electrostatic discharge protection you can see here that it is your samsung semiconductor india research and your iisc bangalore that is in karnataka will promote the research and development in the field of on chip electrostatic discharge protection all right highly important then then if we talk about ssir that is samsung semiconductor india research who is the managing director here Balaji Sovri Ranjan where is the headquarter it is in Bangalore Karnataka in 1996 it was established then if we talk about IISC Bangalore who will be the director here Govindan Rangarajan where is the headquarter 
इट इज इन बैंगलोर कर्नाटका एंड वेन वॉज दिस इस्टेब्लिश इन नाइनटीन जीरो नाइन नेक्स्ट हेयर यू कैन सी अंडर दिस पार्टनरशिप आई आई एस सी विल कोलेबरेट विद एस एस आई आर इन द क्रूशल एरिया ऑफ एडवांस नैनो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स डिवाइस सर्च द पार्टनरशिप एम्स टू डेवलप कटिंग एच ई एस डी डिवाइस सोल्यूशन टू प्रोटेक्ट अल्ट्रा हाई स्पीड सीरियल इंटरफेस इन एडवांस इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट्स एंड सिस्टम ऑन चिप प्रोडक्ट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज रशिया हैज साइंड अ मेमोरेंडम ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग फॉर लिक्विफाइड नेचुरल गैस सप्लाई एंड लो कार्बन अमोनिया विद विच कंट्री इट विल बी योर विच कंट्री इट इज इंडिया अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस रिमेंबर रशिया इज ऑल्सो सप्लाइंग क्रूड ऑयल टू इंडिया एंड दिस क्रूड ऑयल इज योर वर्जिन ऑयल दैट इज बींग प्रोवाइडेड टू इंडिया एंड रिमेंबर आफ्टर द सेंक्शन वर मेड ऑन रशिया बाय यूएसए द अमाउंट ऑफ oil that was imported by india from russia has increased by 33 times that is a huge amount of oil that we are importing from russia and some of the oil is being then sent to or sold to usa also remember that so moving on if we talk about it on 6th of february pao novtech a russia second largest natural gas producer and deepak fertilizers and petrochemicals corporation limited that is of india they have signed a memorandum of understanding for the supply of lng and low carbon ammonia important see here we have seen which two countries are have signed up but now you have to remember from russia it will be your novtech all right and from india it is your deepak fertilizers that are that is importing this lng and low carbon ammonia from russia all right highly important take a note of this and the parties also intend to collaborate in the long term supply of low carbon hydrogen and ammonia that are produced with the use of carbon capture and underground storage and cracking of the renewable resources at novatex future gas chemical site that is located in russia all right and if we talk about novatex this is seventh largest publicly traded company globally by natural gas production volume and this is the second largest natural gas producer of russia then if we talk about deepak fertilizers and petrochemicals corporation limited who is the chairman and managing director here salesh chinamlal mehta ji and where is the headquarter it is located in pune maharashtra and when was this established 1979 so coming back friends remember which two countries has signed a memorandum of understanding for the supply of lng and low carbon ammonia they are russia and india from russia it is novatech company and from india it will be your deepak fertilizers that will be importing this lng and low carbon ammonia lng liquefied natural gas png is your petroleum natural gas cng is your compressed natural gas so you should know the difference between the the full forms are important then next is recently not eldoris eldvis adel vis adelvis general insurance has recently rebranded themselves to what see they have rebranded themselves to zuno general insurance that is zuno gi this is important what is the new name of eldvis general insurance the name is zuno general insurance this is a new age digital insurer with the ambition to reimagine and redefine insurance to make it easy friendly and transparent highly important next here you can see the new name embeds the company's passion enthusiasm and singular focus on providing customers with the most convenient and hassle free experience possible powered by the responsive and intuitive technology moving on next tcs tata consultancy service has backed gbp 6 million dollar deal with uk's phoenix group i repeat 
TCS has announced the expansion of their partnership with Phoenix Group in UK that is the largest long term saving and retirement provider through a contract valued over 6 billion dollar 6 billion british pound sterling all right g p p is your british pound sterling so if we repeat what i said that um, uh, recently tcs has recently tied up with uk company that is phoenix and the contract value between them was for 600 million pound sterling british pound sterling if we talk about the deal what the deal was basically about is here tcs will transform or digitally transform the phoenix reassure business including their administrative services as a part of this agreement here tcs is regulated subsidiary in the uk on the behalf of phoenix diligenta will manage the customer administration and service for reassure 3 million policies under the term of agreement so coming back remember it was tcs that has signed up a deal with uk's phoenix company for 600 billion or uh, 600 million british pound sterling next next is which indian music composer and producer has won the third won his third award and dedicated his trophy to india remember he has won his third grammy award and dedicated his trophy to india So what is the correct option option A Ricky Cage he is a Bangalore based Indian music composer and producer who has won his third grammy award and it has been dedicated to India all right he won his award during the that is his third grammy award during the 65th annual grammy awards under the best immersive audio album category for the album divine tides then if we talk about these grammy awards where was these grammy awards held they were held at crypto.com arena that was in los angeles california usa then remember grammy 2023 recognized the recordings that was released between 1st of september to 30th of september that is 1st of september from 2021 to 30th of september in 2020 All right so coming back remember India uh, Bangalore based Indian music composer and producer Ricky Cage has won his third grammy award and dedicated the trophy to India Next question is tell me who has been chosen for PCI's Raja Ram Mohan Roy's national award for excellence in journalism for 2022 for 2020 he will be ABK Prasad important remember ABK Prasad has been chosen for the pci's raja ram mohan roy national award for excellence in journalism highly important all right and he has been awarded for his outstanding contribution to the field of journalism the award was conferred by the justice ranjana prakash desai who is the chairperson of the press council of india and the award will be presented on 28th of february 2023 at deputy speaker hall in rafi mark new delhi Then, if we talk about A B K Prasad, remember he has served as the chairman of the Official Language Commission from two thousand four to two thousand nine in United Andhra Pradesh. Then, if we talk about the Raja Ram Mohan Roy National Award for Excellence in Journalism, the P C I, that is your Press Council of India, has instituted the National Award to honor the journalist. in their excelling in print journalism in various fields from 2012 onwards and to encourage the media to pursue their duties the main award raja ram mohan roy national award for excellence in journalism was instituted then if we talk about here raja ram mohan roy raja ram mohan roy is related to brahmo samaj he was the founder of brahmo samaj he was also known as the father of modern india and he was also known as the father of bengal renaissance all right also he was the one who introduced the word hinduism all right for the first time into in english language in 1816 so these are all the information do have to remember regarding 
this particular award for journalism that is national award for excellence in journalism that is raja ram roy raja ram mohan roy national award for excellence and it is given by pca that is your press council of india and this year for 2020 this award was presented to abk prasad next atd best awards 2023 was held and ntpc has backed the best atd best award for the sixth time i repeat ntpc that is a maharashtra uh, maharatna central public sector undertaking company that is your national thermal power corporation they have won or they have been honored with the association for talent development that is your att best award for 2023 and this is the sixth time that ntpc has been honored with this att best award for the 2023 all right this is the sixth award for ntpc and ATD stands for association for talent development for and then association for talent development best award for 2023 was also won by or this award was uh, awarded for the sixth time to ntpc all right this ntpc has won the ATD best awards for the sixth time here if we talk about it ntpc culture has always been built on engaging employees through creative methods and the award attached to ntpc's contemporary human resource practices ntpc has been successful in developing an ecosystem that allows people to grow their skill sets apart from this in 2017 18 19 20 and 22 ntpc has won the atd best award next if we talk about the atd best award these awards were established in the year 2003 the best winner The best award winner circle includes small and large private public and non-profit organizations along the globe. All right then if we talk about NTPC can you tell me who is the chairman and managing director here we just saw Gurdeep Singh and where is the headquarters it is in New Delhi and when was this established 1975 Next we are talking about obituary Italy's Italy's Olympic skier Elena Fencini has recently passed away I repeat Italian alpine ski racer Elena Fencini who represented Italy at three winter olympic games in 2006 10 and 14 and has recently passed away she was also a six world championship and she passed away at the age of 37 due to cancer in Italy she was born on 30th of April 1985 in Italy only all right so remember Italy's olympic skier Elena Fencini has recently passed away. Next we are talking about state news. South Indian Bank has recently partnered with Telangana government to facilitate online payments. I repeat, South Indian Bank has authorized has been authorized by Telangana government to collect the government receipts on their behalf for which SBI has signed an agreement with Telangana government's Directorate of Treasury and Accounts in Hyderabad, Telangana. Then remember under this partnership the residents of telangana can make payments to the state's online treasury portal that is cyber treasury using sib that is your south indian banks internet banking platform that is sibr net all right so i repeat remember south indian bank has been authorized to collect government receipts on the behalf of telangana government and sib is one of the six private sector bank of telangana that has designated the purpose of collecting payments to the cyber treasury and for the same if a uh, resident of telangana want to make payment online they can use this sibr net to make the payments online here you can see this is the platform where they can use this can be used to make payments resident can use this facility to pay online fees charges taxes Miswa Miswa RTA the inspector of factories boilers the fire department TGB drug controller administrator roads and building and all this facility for them you can pay there online SIB SIB net has a state of the art facility dedicated to providing consumer service over the internet with improved convenience and security see here also we are getting digital and which is the first state in india to get fully digital it will be your kerala All right, for South Indian Bank, who is the managing director and chief executive officer, Murali Ramakrishnan, headquarters is in Thrissur, Kerala, and the tag tagline is Experience Next Generation Banking. 
नेक्स्ट इज इंडिया हेल्थ हैज साइंड अ डील विद विच स्टेट गवर्नमेंट फॉर हेल्थ ए टी एम्स सो इन ऑर्डर टू सेट अप हेल्थ ए टी एम्स विच इंडियन हेल्थ हैज साइंड अ डील विद विच स्टेट गवर्नमेंट इट विल बी योर यूपी गवर्नमेंट एंड इफ यू रिमेंबर इन यूपी ओनली यूपी ग्लोबल इन्वेस्टर समिट इज गोइंग टू बी हेल्ड इन लखनऊ इन फरवरी सो इंडियन हेल्थ लिंक दैट इज आई एच एल प्राइवेट लिमिटेड दिस इज अ डिजिटल हेल्थ एंड मेडिकल डिवाइस स्टार्टअप दैट हैव साइंड अ मेमोरेंडम ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग विद यूपी गवर्नमेंट अंडर यूपी इन्वेस्ट यूपी प्रोग्राम टू सेटअप एच पॉड दिस इज अ हेल्थ ए टी एम प्रोवाइडिंग स्क्रीनिंग ऑफ वेरियस हेल्थ पैरामीटर्स एट मोर देन फोर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड कम्युनिटी एंड प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर सेंटर्स इन यूपी This edge pod will provide a non-invasive, digitally integrated ecosystem that will enable primary, preventive, and predictive healthcare. So remember, here edge pod will be set up in more than forty-six community and primary healthcare centers across UP that will be used to monitor the health of individuals. And for the same, India Health Link has tied up with which government? It is your UP government for these health ATMs. What is this health ATM? Basically, health ATM is a touch screen hardware designed for managing the health-related information that will allow the individual to access their personal health information. All right. Then, if we talk about IHL, that is your India Health Link, who is the director Krishan Goel. Headquarters is in Karnal, Haryana. It was established in two thousand thirteen. Then, if we talk about Uttar Pradesh, Chief Minister is Yogi Adityanath, and remember here only in uttar pradesh jaywar airport is being built next next is jammu and kashmir government has launched a project to promote sustainable agriculture with focus on organic farming and i have told you multiple time friends what is one of the disadvantage of organic farming that for the one or two years for the starting when you start shift when you shift to organic farming for the first one or two years the output will be low and after that the output will be uh, on average higher than that you were getting before organic farming so this is just the advantage this is a threshold period that you have to pass so it is your jammu but on an average if we see organic farming is much better farming than when you are using any chemical or pesticide all right it is much better for health also so it is your government of jammu and kashmir that has initiated a program that is alter health alternate agriculture system for sustainability project and this was launched to boost organic food production and increase the economic returns for the farmers in the union territory jammu and kashmir government has allocated 84 crore rupees to support the program over the next 5 years and the project is estimated to create around 1 lakh 20 uh, 12600 jobs and 300 enterprises in the organic agri sector so question can be asked that recently which state or union territory is promoting sustainable agriculture with focus on organic farming it will be your jammu and kashmir union territory so friends that's all for the day now let's go for a quick revision ministry of defense signed a contract with lnt to procure 41 modular bridges worth 25 85 crore for indian army then rbi's bi monthly monetary policy for fiscal year 23 was released and repo rate has been raised to 6.5% and recently 25 basis points were raised by RBI then Mobivic became the first fintech app to offer UPI payments through rupee credit card Ujjivan small finance bank has uh Ujjivan small finance bank launches app to ease banking access for digitally challenged people Bajaj finance has launched insurance small EIB agrees to join India Hydrogen Alliance and pledges to provide 1 billion euros in funding for green hydrogen projects in India. Samsung Semiconductor India Research and IISC has partnered for research and development into electrostatic discharge protection. Novtech and Deepak Fertilizers signed an MOU for the supply of LNG and low carbon ammonia. Eldevis General Insurance has been renamed to Zuno General Insurance. TCS has backed 600 million pound sterling deal with UK's Phoenix Group Grammy 2023 Bangalore based Ricky Ketch has won the third Grammy at the 65th annual Grammy Awards ABK Prasad chosen for the PCI's Raja Ram Mohan National Award for excellence in journalism important then ATD best award for 2023 NTPC NTPC backs the ATD best award for the sixth time 
Italy's Olympic skier Elena Fancini passed away. South Indian Bank has partnered with Telangana government to facilitate online payments. India Health Link has signed a memorandum of understanding with UP government to set up health ATMs. Jammu and Kashmir government has launched project to promote sustainable agriculture with focus on organic farming. So friends, these were your important current affairs for the day. Now it's time for your homework. First question, India agreed for trilateral cooperation initiative in the fields including energy, defense, economy with which courtiers? Second, which union ministry implements FEME that is faster adoption and manufacturing of electronic of electric vehicle schemes? Third, which uh, ministry of corporation signed MOU with which ministry to enable primary agriculture credit societies function as a common service center? So these are your three homework question friends. I hope you have understood the assignment. All you have to do is now like the video and comment below and let us know what are your views on such sessions. So that's all for the day. Thank you and have a nice day. That's all for the day friends. I hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the YouTube channel as well as apart from YouTube channel, you can go and follow us at Affairs Cloud Telegram channel. And if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application, you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862. Apart from this friends, you can follow us on the Facebook as well as on Instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official. In the end friends, if you use a code that is Vikas10, you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code Vikas10. Also, if you have any problem regarding the course purchase, any problem regarding to our application, you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862. And if you want to mail us, you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com. And I assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue.